Hey, what's up, everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, August 11th. In 1860, after the silver strike occurred in 1859, the nation's first silver mine begins operation from the Comstock Lode in Virginia City, Nevada. In 1866, just a few years after the invention of the four-wheel roller skate, the first public roller skating rink in the U.S. opens up in Newport, Rhode Island. In 1896, inventor Harvey Hubble of Bridgeport, Connecticut is granted the U.S. patent for the pull chain incandescent lamp. In 1919, in Green Bay, Wisconsin, a group of young athletes, organized by Curly Lambeau and George Calhoun, gather and form the Green Bay Packers Football Club, named after the Indian Packing Company. In 1929, in Cleveland, the great Bambino Babe Ruth of the Yankees hits a home run off a Cleveland pitcher Willis Hudlin to become the first in history to reach 500 home runs. In 1934, Designed for the worst criminals, the first group of federal prisoners arrive at Alcatraz, also known as The Rock, in the San Francisco Bay. In 1951, the first live televised baseball game in color is broadcast by WCBS-TV in New York City during a game in which the Boston Braves beat the Brooklyn Dodgers 8-1 at Ebbets Field in Brooklyn. In 1961, one of the greatest lefties to play, pitcher Warren Spahn of the Milwaukee Braves, beats the Cubs 2-1 to earn his 300th career win. Spahn became the 13th player to reach 300. In 1965, in Los Angeles, sparked by the arrest of a young African American who was pulled over for suspicion of drunk driving, angry crowds converged on the scene and began to get unruly. Chaos ensued, and the Watts riots had begun. The rioting would last for six days. And in 2014, one of the greatest comedians and actors in history, Robin Williams is found dead after an apparent suicide in Tiburon, California, north of San Francisco. He was 63 years old. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a nice week so far. Be safe out there, everybody, and bless up.